to another video man today we have tupac og versions of the songs off until the end of time album you feel me uh, a lot of y'all was getting on me in the community tab when i said something about i was gonna do this and y'all wasn't rocking with it y'all wanted me to do a lot of other albums like tupacalypse now doug life album are you ready uh, a whole bunch of albums by tupac i'm like dang which one is the best <laughs> y'all got me y'all got me thinking like what's really the best like let me let me go look somebody said better days loyal to the game are you still down uh uh tupacalypse now like what's going on y'all want all these albums bro like i'm trying my hardest you mean but i wanted to get the og versions up out the way since we just reacted to the album i wanted you know since i have a clear clear view of what you know those songs sound like off the album i wanted to do the og versions and compare and contrast you feel me if y'all hear something in the background it's because the ac's on it's hot as freak um in delaware right now you feel me because that's where i'm from i'm from delaware it's hot as freak and y'all know y'all probably like oh if it's hot why you got on a jacket i got a jacket on every video you feel me i'm gonna keep it a buck with you don't don't question me brother <laughs> you feel me i got me some snacks i got me a drink yeah i'm drinking out the bottle because i'm a big dog today y'all used to drink out the bottle when y'all were drinking that alcohol back in the day let me live you mean i don't want to hear no comments in the comment section talking about some why are you drinking out the bottle it's mine brother <laughs> stop <laughs> you mean but you know without further ado we're gonna jump straight into it uh first song that we got off the og version is uh everything they owe we're gonna do everything they owe running on e my closest road dogs words to my firstborn and ends nature uh so those are the five songs that we're gonna be doing and then yeah so you know without further ado let's jump into the first song first song we got is called everything they owe original version let's see <laughs> listening to everything they owe on an album like i remember listening to it, i know i reacted to it but i forgot how the song sound but this sounds smooth this sound like it should have been on the album i'm gonna keep it a buck so for now no i'm gonna say album and og version because i keep on saying the original one that we heard but that's not the original song so we're gonna be like this should this should have been on the album instead of the one that was on the album you, you feel me technically those are remixes compared to the og version but since it's the first one, it's not really a remix. <laughs> you feel in a car you feel me when i did the reaction it's like how do you plead mr shakur how do you plead what you mean how do, like i remember that part i gotta go back and listen to the original version so i can give y'all a rating for that and then give y'all i mean the album version i don't know if i'm gonna uh, go back and re-listen to that so i can give y'all a rating to see if it's better or not you feel me so yeah then you go Drop me 
to my knees, I proceed to bleed. Suffering the rain of blows to my hands and knees. Will I survive? It's God watching. I grab his back and bust in self defense, my only option. God damn. Now they got me going to the county jail. And my family can't pay this outrageous bill. Try to offer me a deal. They told me if I swear, move me. And my people to imagine in Brazil, not me. So this is how it is. Oh my God, they, they said, they told me if I squeal, they gonna move me to an island in Brazil. <laughs> you feel me? You might as well go learn Portuguese if you gonna snitch. Come on. And my family can't pay this outrageous bill. Try to offer me a deal. They told me if I squeal, move me. Oh my gosh, uh, my, my family can't afford this bail. They told me if I squealed, you feel me? To get me out this situation, they told me if I squealed, I have to go get an island in Brazil. <laughs> nah, hold up, nah, that's tough. That's tough. Now they got me going to the county jail. And my family can't pay this outrageous bail. Try offer me a deal. They told me if I squeal, move me. And my people to imagine in Brazil, not me. So this is how it is, no friends. I'll be stressed and they just repossess my bitch. Told the judge it was self defense, but he won't listen. So I'm voting this in federal prison, giving everything I owe. everything they owe man i'm gonna rate that song right there i'm gonna give it a 9.8 you feel me the original one that i rated i gave it a 9.5 and at the end when y'all see me compare these albums um the 9.5 is just based off first listen that's not my overall rating to the actual song you feel me that's not my overall rating after giving it a couple more listens so a couple of y'all was saying in the last part that uh that i said my ratings would probably be a little messed up and i asked was it like was this better and i like the album version overall better and i was comparing the ratings from the first one from the, my first time hearing it compared to my first time hearing the og versions you feel me so this is just all first listen this is not like my overall rating to each song feel me because i listen to the end of time album version i listen to those songs more you know i listen to that album every single day you gotta think once you start hearing an album every day from start to finish you you start to like songs more and more and more versus you feel like versus liking the og version i feel like nothing needs to be changed on that album but maybe that's just me i don't know but it fit that's that style of rap right there fits me off that album if y'all get what i'm saying but some of some of these songs is better like f friends that's better the og version um a couple of songs was better like all out i like i like the og version better um thugging you thugging me nah i like i like i like the uh the album one better but you see i said it was a nine point i said it was a 9.3 for the original one that was on the for the album version i gave it a 9.5 for the first uh for the og version that's just based off first listen so based off first listen thugging you thugging me is better but overall after hearing the album version more and more like that's just it's better in my opinion that's just my opinion hopefully y'all get what i'm saying y'all get where i'm coming from you feel me but next song we got is called is called um Running on E, let's see what they talking about on here, man. It's featuring the Outlaws and Nuts Up. You a bad boy? Yeah, what's up, man? Police coming! Oh, shit! Get down! Yo! Get the fuck out the way! Hold on, hold on. I'm running up out of this motherfucker. I'm going past it. They ain't getting me out of the game like this. I'm fucking out. I'm fucking out, man. If you a bad boy, then... Hold up. Cause it says Fatal was the most underrated outlaw, always straight fire. R.P. Fatal Dog, Machiavelli the Don, R.P. Yak, R.P. Johnny J, R.P. Big Sight. God dang, dang, who the freak is Yak? Gaddafi. That's the only. That's the only outlaw I know. I didn't even know it was that many people in the outlaws. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I know Napoleon was in there. Gaddafi. I think Fatal is the uh, Hussein. Uh, 
I forgot, I forgot how y'all told me how to say it, but that H boy, Fado, I think that's that H boy, Machiavelli's Tupac, obviously, but I wouldn't consider Tupac a part of the Outlaws. Tupac was his own person who found the Outlaws, I'm gonna assume. I didn't know Big Psych was even in the Outlaws. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I thought he was just somebody that he, that Tupac worked with. Cause every time when I see him featured on a song, it's that Big Psych. You feel me? And I never heard him on none of the big songs that were like, Featuring the Outlaws, like, hit him up. He wasn't on hit him up. No, he wasn't. He couldn't have been. I would have known. <laughs> you feel me? But let's see. Let's see. What's up, Outlaws? When you ride, get me high. They fucked up when they robbed me. Put another contract on my D. Bad boy, then you die. West side Outlaws, when we ride, get me high. They fucked up when they robbed me. Put another contract on my D. Focus my locust on the enemy. Seek off the Hennessy. It's necessary to finish me. I'm antisocial. Immortal when it comes to the focus. Jersey, the niggas that it won't approach until it's time to smoke. Who say the terrorist? Nigga, they think I'm crazy. Oh, this the who say? This the uh, fatal boy. This the fatal boy. This the boy right here. That's him right there. That's the uh, I, I'm gonna call him the Tupac lookalike. You feel me? Just because he was bald. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. That's the only reason why I'm comparing him. You feel me? And plus, his flow, his flow was insane. I think between him and Gaddafi, Gaddafi, I don't know. I really like Gaddafi. He's tough. He's tough. Even as you speak, they trying to find me a therapist. Rapid fire, I clap an eye until you die a liar. Strapped the next hit in corners, dropping in one and spin the tires. My man, I find it is 357 Anaconda. It's enough to bring your mama, then turn around and hate drama. Military camaraderie, outlaw to they body me. Havoc, I gotta have a steady blast in that prodigy. Mom, six feet deep. You trying to bust me to death, and I suppose you got the dope and smooth like Chucky on fresh. You know the verdict, who what, when, why they die, murder. Get your physical diverted and your vision deserted. Ever since I'm not gonna lie to you, this kinda sound like the original version though. That's just my opinion. My opinion. So this might be the same rating or just or might even be higher because this is just the one I'm listening to now. Revenge flow deep without relief. Criminal orders cross the border, bring the walls to the streets. While I see me finishing our speech. One of this shit drop is heard on every fucking street. Like the Sarah police who run the streets, really. And every hood legend swirl from the hustlers up in order to shot callers in the O. And so also this might be the last Tupac album that I do for a minute. Cause we've been doing a lot of Tupac albums. And I kind of want his albums to space out until the end of the year, if that makes sense. We're going to be doing a lot more Tupac videos. Don't get it twisted. So, like, documentaries. We're going to be doing documentaries, music videos, all that type of stuff. We're going to be doing that. But as far as albums, we're going to pump the brakes a little bit. Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. You mean? And then I'm going to give you all more accurate rating to each album as the time goes on because like i said all these ratings that i gave y'all for these albums was just based off first listen my first time listening to these songs and listening to these albums so i'm gonna give y'all a proper rating uh actually i don't know i'm not gonna try to space it out to the end of the year because i'm gonna do this tupac and biggie um tupac and biggie reaction uh i want to do a versus battle between the greatest hits album you feel me so we're gonna do the greatest hit album versus battle, and then we're gonna do uh, a versus battle, just straight up, just best songs in general. But once we do the versus battle between them, between them two, hopefully my Biggie supporters and my Tupac supporters, hopefully y'all can come together and make a nice list that's fair on both ends. Like, cause people say there's no competition between them two, but I definitely think it's competition. Like them boys, them boys was at the top of their game at a young age, and they was really them. <laughs> Six shots later, Lord, I had to throw the shit out of my pocket, getting mine from non-stop.
destroy the black. See, look, that's Gaddafi right there. He looked like you could just tell by his by his verses. Like you could tell by his voice and his verse that that's him. Like, come on now, he he's the best in my opinion. Death is last breath, unless they're not possessed like Jews. Stay still, keep it moving. Yeah, we ain't gonna be hate the judge when we stalk the streets. Who is this? Who the freak is this? This might be fatal over right here, though. Maybe I was lying. Maybe uh, that Hussein, whatever that boy, maybe that boy and Fatal is two different people. But I think this might be Fatal right here because I don't know. I ain't never seen him. My, I never seen none of the outlaws except Napoleon. That's the only one I ever seen. And that one boy I just said I thought was Fatal and Gaddafi. But before I even started reacting to Tupac, I only knew Napoleon. Dollar bill folded with green bonds. Like I had a crazy. Drink my hand straight, no case to catch my body like cases. Five minutes from the station. It's the whole like I lie, but said we're confident. No bigger press, that mean there was no evidence. So I proved that I was present at the scene of the club. Oh my gosh, he said, he said, uh, he said no finger proof was at the, uh, hold on, he said something about, hold on, nah, I heard what I heard. No fingerprints that mean there was no evidence or or uh, evidence that I was there. You feel me? He ain't say it exactly like that, but he said it. <laughs> you mean y'all know what he said? Y'all know. Yeah. Million dollar bill folded with green bonds. Like I had a crazy. Drink my hand straight, no chase to catch my body like cases. Five minutes from the station. It's the whole like Allah. Oh snap, here the boys right here. You feel me? That was Castro. That was Castro that just rapped. EDI oh EDI. He was one of them ones. Napoleon Fatal is that um that boy who name start with a H. Okay, so Fatal, EDI, Gaddafi, Napoleon, and Castro. You feel me? I'm going to rate them. I never heard Napoleon rap before, I don't think. Uh, I think he was on the OG version. Uh, I think he was on the OG version of Hit Him Up. I think he was. EDI. I got Gaddafi. And it's very close. It's very close. Don't get it twisted. I got EDI. I'm, no, no, no. I got Gaddafi. Gaddafi, EDI, and Fatal. Ha! 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 <laughs> ha! Come on, dude. Nah, I got to. I got to. Out of them three, it's Gaddafi, EDI, and Fatal. And then Castro, and then Napoleon. Like I said, I ain't heard too much of Napoleon. Like, at least I don't think so. Y'all y'all remind me and tell me to re-listen to some of them songs so I can hear Napoleon verses. Because give me some songs because I don't want to count him out. Slipping with the blow and dispose if you 
block on Hindi, riding high, riding high. Crippin' I got a nigga thanks for and smirkin' at enemies before I grave them. Ride up, look behind him, I see him, he see him. I stop like a drumly bitch motherfuckin' trip. So I can dump and put it in him. Damn, I guess motherfuckin' know this shit. Hit the pedal, now we high speed. With my metal, try to make these motherfuckers die speed. Up the way I seen him slow down. Shit, I think I done bust these up. Is not so. Oh, 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 Throwing gas on my enemies, watch them burn, call my posse. I'm shooting up the casket, take the body, whip whip the corpse like a pinata and park. <laughs> Keep it a buck with you. I gotta rate that song. <laughs> I, I'm gonna rate that song a 10. I'm gonna rate it a 10. You feel me? It seems like these songs right here are um are better than the original than the ones that was on the album, the album version. Uh, I'm trying to see what running on E was like. What did I rate that right there? Because yeah, running on oh running on E. I gave the album version a 10 too. Mmm, I gave that one a 10 too. What's going on? You feel me? But yeah, they're both 10s in my opinion. Both 10s. That's just my humble opinion. You mean? But next song we got is called uh, Road Dog OG. My closest Road Dog OG. Let's see what he's talking about on here, man. Let me take you back in time, rewind to 89, introduce me to this life of crime. But we was blind, little nappy head, juveniles, living round, no smells on our faces. 13 catching cases, indeed it was misery, driven by my own demons, cause they was killing me. I cannot be sure I'll be saved soon. Catch me dipping to the light of the stray moon, it's keeping deeper now, let me get your mind right. Fuck your enemies, nigga, grip your line tight. Tonight's the night, murder, murder, Mr. Lucifer. Hurt. 
like that. That's Jesus, you feel me? Yahweh, that's what Jesus used to go by too. You feel me? Come on now, I know, I know, I know. In no better days, I hope to stay down forever to our dying days. I pray to Yahweh every night to lead us right across whoever don't first. Don't let the other get lost. Play a boss is what we call us up. Soon we gotta taste the well. Now we sound like niggas with a bigger arsenal on our shelf. Train this cool by G's, death before the sun and shake it, please. Fuck with these, you a gunner, my ace partner. On my side when we ride, it's like one nice formation. Making this bullet, let's build on our reputation. my closest road dogs man that's the og version i'm gonna rate that song right there a 9.6 i rated the original i mean i rated the album one uh on first listen an eight a 9.8 you feel me and i remember it because i only rated a 9.8 because the big psych was on there and i felt like i said for me to really love a song i have to give it a 10 with no skips no nothing you feel me big psych verse on the other one I feel like was a little better than this because he had a longer verse on this one and yeah and the beat was a little I think the beat was a little different or it might be the same beat I don't know but <clears throat> I feel like Big Psych he 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 I give it a 9.6 for sure he had a longer verse you feel me longer verse on here I'm not gonna say that's a bad thing and I'm not gonna say it's a good thing neither I'm gonna just say it was longer <laughs> pause no diddy you mean but next song we got is called uh words to my firstborn you feel me i thought somebody told me that letter to my firstborn was i thought it was an og version of this but it's words to my firstborn you feel me let me go look back at um uh the overall rating to that one off first listen because yeah that's like one of the last songs that we end up doing too uh, words to my firstborn, I gave that a 10. So let's see if that song can beat the OG version. Well, let's see if the OG version can beat the album version. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. You said my words to my firstborn. You know what I'm These are my words to my firstborn. In the rush to grow, the hard time is in the pen, had to crush the throat. Probably never even saw it coming. See, I'm not gonna lie to you, off rip, it sounds like it's the same verse, just a different just a different beat. You feel me? This sounds more classical, more like jazzy type, if you get what I'm saying. Bullshit and caught him with his mouth running. If this a bitch that got me twisted in this game, the feds and the ball, police pointing pistols at my brain. But what's it if I'm wrong? Cause I'm built out. My homies murder execute style running in the drug house. What was supposed to be an easy hit? Now shit is fucked cause niggas died over bullshit. Inside my dreams, I'm seeing pictures of a broken man. No witnesses, only the question of a smoke the man. Young adolescents in our prime, living life a crime. The winning lots of we hobble through these trying times. Living by Lord, help me with my troubled soul. And a kid would be a curse. Oh my god. Ah. Since my very first day on this earth, I was scared, so I knew that the birth of a child would make my life worse. And oh, it would hurt me. That was he said, 
he said having a uh, having a birth of his first child will make it worse because his life was already cursed. Like that's insane. Most people feel like when you have a kid, it makes your life a little better. It gives you that motivation. But he's saying he think it would make life worse. Worse than my first born. Since my very first day on this earth, I was scared, so I knew that the birth of a child would make my life worse. And though it hurt me, there was no distortion. Cause wild seeds can't grow, we need more abortions. Why did you so? Did you know what you had to do? And so they victims of a world that never came to. I understand it's a better day coming. Sometimes can't be sleeping on a dead end, driving with the car, running blind. Ain't no love in the hood, only hearts torn. Love lasts to the end of setting up. In my last name, cause in the gang things change, living up and down. This hard life got me walking with my head down. Flashing frowns wasn't meant to be, was I wrong? But I'll never get to know, so I carry on. It's written for the young and dumb that wasn't born. My words, my first born. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a deep song. This is a deep, deep song. I ain't pausing for all the parts because I heard it, you heard it. We know, we know. This brother, he's a politician for real. Stop playing with him, man. Words to my first ball. Also, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I take back what I said. I say young boys on his level. As far as in this generation, nobody's on that brother's level. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Nobody's on his level. I feel like there's rappers that are close to him. Actually, I'm not gonna take back what I said about NBA Young Boy because I never said Young Boy was better than him. That's one thing I never said. Not on camera, at least. <laughs> not on camera. I'm going to give it a buck, which I might have said it behind closed doors, but not on camera. I know not to bring that to y'all because I know y'all going to eat me up. You feel me? But I I said young boy, influential-wise, he's on the same level. Like, Pac had the black community and the headlock. Young boy has the youth in the headlock. Don't forget it. You mean young boy got bangers. Don't get it twisted. He might not got bangers that are like I don't think he has he might have classics. He might have classics. Pac has classic, like classic songs that are that will last forever. I don't think Young Boy has those type. I don't know. In your eyes. In my eyes, I think you do. You feel me? This that's just what I grew up on. Like you got to think, y'all probably started listening to Pac in y'all teen years. I started listening to Youngboy in my teen years. I've been listening to Youngboy since 2017, almost 10 years. Going on seven years, I've been listening to NBA Youngboy since I was, what, 14 years old, bro? Since I was 14, I was listening to Youngboy. You got to understand, bro. You got to understand. And I understand his music because I can relate to him. We tend to, we tend to like rappers that we could relate to. So... I feel like our, I feel like arguing about who's the best rapper is kind of pointless because it's really who you relate to, what you've been through in your life, and who you grasp more towards. You feel me? Like I can grasp more towards Young Boy because he's young, he's 24. Like he's been through some of the stuff I've been through. I've been through some of the stuff he's been through. Y'all probably rock with Pac because all the stuff that was going on at that time I would never know unless I do my research. I'm not doing my research, brother. Let me keep it a buck with y'all. I feel like y'all should be telling me this stuff. Y'all should be telling me what was going on at the time. You know, what was going on because y'all telling me to react to rappers back in the day. You want me to do my full on research behind closed doors when I do three albums at a time. I'm trying to push this content out for y'all, you feel me? But you know, yeah, my fault. <laughs> my fault. My nigga not so These are the words to my first born. And they can talk to you. Talk to you I'm just another thug nigga trapped up in this ghetto life. An endless hustle. Struggling, trying to settle right. And doing dirt ain't saving me. But the streets is the only thing paying me. Feel me? Yeah. Running with G's, stacking G's, stacking me. My life to these motherfuckers whack me. Stacking greenery, fuck until I die. Picking up so much, yeah, I'm getting high. Got the fans on me, and they label me a bad grip. Thinking I'm the reason why this nigga got his hat to on the run. Now daddy got a pack of guns. Cause these niggas wanna make you the last one. I'm about the bitches, these jealous bitches, and things you gon' be selling through. Welcome to life, and if I die, remember that it's all love when I'm by your side every night. Don't be a loser, choose your dreams, do your thing on solo. 
to the no arms will twist you up like shoot strings. Open your eyes, don't let these haters get you. Roll up and kiss you. My words to my firstborn. firstborn man see i was gonna rate that song a 10 but i heard that other guy on there you feel me that other guy i didn't know it was a feature i don't even think it was a feature on the uh album version that we heard you feel me let me go back and go look because i don't i don't think it was a feature uh let me see words to my firstborn oh there was featuring above the law you feel me i gave the album version a 10 but I'm gonna give this one a 9.8. You feel me? I think Pac should have been on there by itself. Maybe that's maybe that's bad that I just like too much Pac that I only want him on songs. I don't think he'd be needing features for real, for real. But that's just my opinion. But the next song and the last song that we have on this part right here is called Ends Nature. Let's see what he's talking about on here, man. <laughs> It's like Pac was going for like a jazzy sound as far as with these beats. I hear so much like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like saxophone. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I hear a certain instrument that I heard in the last song or one of them last songs we just heard and this song. Maybe it's me. It kind of remind me of, um, of like a Michael Jackson type beat, if I'm not mistaken. I was like, I don't know. Maybe it was a remix that I heard on like TikTok or something. I don't know. But hey, it kind of reminds me of like a Michael Jackson beat. If because like, Nas used it too on Illmatic. If I'm ah, I'm trying to think of the song. I can't think of it, but that's what this beat remind me of. Get a job if you wanna be rich Get mad cause I coach and I scream I hate you Introduce you to a nigga nature Feel me trying to think of this song because i heard i heard the girl say why why and we do it that way <laughs> that's what it kind of sounded like she said if i'm not mistaken but that's a michael jackson verse right there what's going on why why tell him that it's human nature why why do we do it that way? 
I like living this way. Ah! Oh, what's going on, though? Huh? Nah, you couldn't catch me. And that's one of my favorite Michael. That's my favorite Michael Jackson song. Rock with you and human nature. Come on now. Why? 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 nature and ends nature i know y'all probably calling me dumb in the comment section okay okay nature i'm gonna give it a 10 i'm gonna give it a 10 just for the simple fact that it's michael jackson human nature beat and i love that song you feel me i like the album version better because i feel like the beat and everything flows together but i'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt because it's michael jackson beat <laughs> you feel me so you know yeah just for that fact i'm gonna give it to him i'm gonna give it to him for sure ski for sure ski and plus i think i kind of i think i know why they didn't end up using this because it would be considered a michael jackson sample one michael jackson probably wasn't letting nobody sample his music i mean he let nas do it in, in like 90 92 with uh illmatic album you feel me uh i, I forgot the name of that song something tell something like that but uh it ain't it ain't hard to tell i think that's what it is it ain't hard to tell you feel me so yeah but that's messed up because i heard michael jackson chose biggie side <laughs> you feel me i heard michael jackson was on biggie side what's going on michael jackson was in a gang war <laughs> let me find out though you feel me like nah <laughs> you feel me? i don't think Pac was rocking with michael I don't think Pac was rocking with Michael for real, for real. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you because I, I it was this video that I seen with Michael Jackson dapping up Biggie. Biggie uh, announced him for an award for winning Singer of the Year or something, Artist of the Year or something. 
Michael Jackson, he was white at this time. He was bleached up. He he that biggie up like a brother. I mean, at the end of the day, you is a brother. But I would never expect Michael Jackson to do such thing. <laughs> Father, be with me, please. <laughs> you mean. But you know, we about to jump into my top five. And we're going to see what I rate this overall part of this quote unquote album until the end of time OG version. So let's see what I'm talking about on here. All right, guys. So my number one song off the album is Running On E coming in at a 10. I gave the original, I gave the uh, OG version a 10 and I gave the album version also a 10. You feel me? Uh, my second favorite song is Ends Nature. I gave the OG version a 10 and I also gave the album version a 10. My third favorite song is Everything They Owe coming in at a 9.8 and I gave the album the album version a 9.5. Reminder, all of this is based off first listen. So I think every everything that I hear now on the OG version is probably gonna be solidified. There's no changing because I'm only hearing this once. You feel me? Versus the album version, I heard I had multiple listens, and that's just what I rated it during the re album reaction. I never had time to go back and change it. And plus, I try to stand on business when it comes to ratings. So a song I didn't really like too much in the beginning is that's what's going to be the permanent album reaction to it. And Ty re react to that album and give it a new rating. You feel me? That's the whole point, I feel like, of re-reacting to albums later on down the line. So, you know, I'm going to eat my own words later on down the line. My fourth favorite song is Words to My Firstborn. I gave it a 9.8. The album version, I gave a 10. So the album version is better. And then my fifth favorite song is My Closest Road Dogs coming in at a 9.6. And then the album version, I gave it a 9.8. So the album version was better in my opinion right there, man. So, you know, uh, everything I owe was the OG version is better. Uh, running on E, it was a tie. Closest Road Dog album one, uh, uh, Words to My Firstborn album one, and Ends Nature, I gave it a tie. They were both tens, you feel me? But the overall rating for this part of the album right here is a 9.84 out of 10, man. The first part of this, uh, I end up giving it a 9.46 out of 10. So, you know, it's getting better and better. You feel me? Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notification bell, uh, be notified every time I drop a video. If y'all like the Tupac reactions, y'all keep, you know, y'all keep showing love, keep showing y'all support, you feel me? But, you know, without further ado, I'll see y'all in the next video. Hope y'all enjoy, man.